Once more I rise with another first impressions video. This time it's first impressions of Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. It literally pretty much is just an HD remaster of Final Fantasy X. So it's not really first impressions of Final Fantasy X, but the HD remaster running on the Nintendo Switch. I will start off by saying that it does run handheld and docked just as smoothly as each other. They were both work great. If you've played this before, it's the exact same game you remember, just up in HD. That was Yuna. I'll just smack something with her then. So, yeah. Pretty much everything you'd expect from Final Fantasy, turn-based combat. Still looks good, still the same old cheesy voice acting. If you haven't played Final Fantasy before, turn-based combat. You level up your party. Certain enemies have a rock, paper, scissor thing going on with party members. Like Lulu is good against elementals. Auron and Kimari are good against these little bastards. Lulu is a condescending turd during combat and just kind of irritates me. <laughs> but yeah, you've got your standard turn-based combat. You can switch out characters on the fly, which is neat. Sit back and watch. Which was a nice addition in the Final Fantasy X. I'm not going to do first impressions on 10 2 which also came with the collection. You also have to swap your party members out if you want to get everybody uh, experience, or SP as it is in this one. So yeah, the rock, paper, scissor thing kind of is conducive to that, to a point, because eventually Eventually, some characters get to the point where they're, they're good enough where you don't need to swap out anymore. The, the textures, the HD remaster is really good looking. Like, I have zero problem with the graphics. The game runs great. So, yeah. Pretty standard Final Fantasy story, although few more convolutions that you may not be expecting. Which, yeah, they're kinda, it's it's not bad. It got a... Maybe it may have had a bad rep at some point in time, but it's not bad. It's actually a pretty good story. Decent game. Some of the targeting can be a bit wonky, so if you're targeting things in-game, you kind of want to be real careful about it. Because, yeah, sometimes it can be a bit wonk. And of course, when you level up, you've got your sphere grid, which you can get all your abilities from that. Which is kind of weird, if you think about it. It's not bad. It's got the sphere grid from the international versions so that instead of you know the traditional grid that it came with you can use a more free form and basically customize your characters however you like which is nice again very nice so yeah that's also a thing the graphics are good the gameplay is fine if you like turn-based JRPGs. If you do not like turn-based JRPGs, stay away from this one. It's Final Fantasy, so it's basically the... Well, for the most part, up until... I believe... 11 and 12? Right. It's pretty much... Yeah. pretty much the standard for Final Fantasy, so if you've played a Final Fantasy before, you know what you're getting into in terms of the combat system. Like, you got your healers, you got your damage dealers, you got your 
magic damage dealers, you got your piercing damage dealers. I used the wrong spell on this thing, didn't I? I'm good at the brain. I am good at the brain. Super good at the brain. So yeah, and as you level up on the spear, sphere grid, your abilities get better, your stats get better. You get more HP, MP, defense, attack, or power, strength, magic power, all the good stuff. Why not? Maybe this time I'll get the right spell. There we go. Yeah, it's pretty standard Final Fantasy fare. The summons behave differently. They behave as um, basically replacement party members for your entire party when they're summoned in. They have their own limit breaks, which are overdrives. And yeah, there's also Blitzball, but I hate Blitzball, so. Blitzball is a thing that is a thing, and I'm depressed that it's a thing. I don't know if there's any special dealies with this version. It doesn't seem like there's any things for L3, R3, for speeding up the battles or turning off battles or giving you super boosts. If there are, I don't know about them. So if there are, leave them in the comment and I'll pin it. But I have not seen any low battery. Good timing for that, yeah. I should wrap this one up. Basically, it's Final Fantasy. So if you're expecting Final Fantasy, you're getting it. Only this time with voice acting. The slightly obnoxious main character. And a lady who wears a dress made out of belts. Yep. Anywho, that's First Impressions of Final Fantasy X Remastered for the Nintendo Switch. If you'd like to see me do a video for X2, let me know in a comment, and I will get on it once I'm finished with this game, because I've never actually beaten this game yet. I had it for the PlayStation 2, but never got around to beating it. So, yeah. So if you like this kind of thing, subscribe. I do a bunch of First Impressions videos. I'm going to keep doing First Impressions videos, usually Switch content. If you'd like to see some more PC content, leave a comment. If you'd like to support the channel, subscribe. Tell a friend to come view the videos, because I'm not sure how YouTube handles recommending me. I don't know if they do or don't, because sometimes it seems like they don't, sometimes it seems like they do. The algorithm remains a mystery to me. A mystery for much, much more clever folk, I believe. In any case, I'm going to say, see you next video. Until then, whoosh.